Nice meeting you, Cor. Just heading out from Far West Coffee. Started editing a video, didn't get very far. Working on a website, overall just trying to get the whole thing moving for the, when I set back out on the trip. Like I said before, unless my engine blows up, I do not plan on leaving once I get back out. At least I don't plan on stopping for anywhere too long. Well, I was inside the coffee shop. I met this guy named Corey. Apparently he grew up in Colorado and he knows like, all the connections. We exchanged contact information and long story short, he's got a lot of people up there who might be able to help me out. Showed me this like roller coaster and I don't remember what it's called exactly, but it's like a roller coaster to go through a mountain on this roller coaster in Colorado. That looks super cool. Apparently there's some like caverns that have like these glow in the dark lights in them or something like that. Or maybe it's naturally glow in the dark. I don't remember what it all was. Lots of cool stuff. He knows a lot of destinations that are kind of just hidden to the public. It'd be really cool if I can get to some of these places, be tourist free. Apparently it has a lot of connections with a lot of people that I might be able to meet up with. Do different stuff like that. So that might be really cool. I actually really wanted to go to Colorado first thing on this trip. Biggest reason I'm not is because of my funds. I do not have enough money for gas, so my plan is to kind of just travel around, make a little bit of money as I go, try to grow the channel, little things like that. I appreciate any and all benefits that I receive from people, any kind of support I get, I appreciate all of it, but I never want to feel like I am doing this for no other reason than to get money. So many of you have helped support the journey up until this point. So many of you have given your own hard-earned money to try to get the Jeep back on the road, to try to get me to be able to travel to the places I want to be. And in return, I really want to be able to create content that you guys enjoy, but I never want to feel like I, that's the only reason I'm doing this. I never want you to feel like I, I'm only doing this to get money from you guys. At the end of the day, I'm doing this for me for no other reason and I appreciate everything I receive, but I do not feel obligated to any of it. Whatever you choose to give me is completely out of your own heart from your own kindness and generosity, and I appreciate all of that. So to everyone who supported me up until this point, huge thank you. I can name so many times that people have just handed me hundreds of dollars just so I can get things done. It's the only reason I was able to afford this Jackery battery pack. It's the only reason the Jeep has a muffler right now. And so thank you to all of you guys. But for now, I need to get back to the house Apparently Haley's back from being in Dallas. I left a mess in the house that I need to go clean up and I need to get everything back in the Jeep. I also haven't eaten anything today, so. <sighs> Time to go. I'm trying to find something better suited for this thing. This is what I'm gonna use to put the ax on the Jeep. Um, I had these washers on it, and I really think they're too small. I really don't need a whole axe falling off. Oops. No, my not. I don't really need a whole axe falling off the Jeep because this washer is too small and it pulls through the hole. So I'm going to try to find something a little bigger. I was looking for a square nut if I could get that to size up, but the hole that's in here is actually really small, so it's not going to work. I'll find a washer big enough, I'm sure. It just needs to be a hair bigger than this. I got him. 12 cents each. Should fit good. We're gonna go put an ax on the side of the Jeep. I think it'll look good. Be a good secure spot. I'm only worried about law enforcement worrying about it, but if they don't care, I don't care. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I got it. Do, 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 wrong key. Do, do, do. I actually forgot to tell you guys, but I finally came up with a name for the Jeep. For the longest time, I've been trying to think of a good name for the Jeep, but I just couldn't seem to come up with anything. So after many days, hours, actually even months of trying to come up with a name, actually to be honest, I've been trying to think of a name for the Jeep ever since I started this road trip. So I finally came up with a name for her, but I don't really want to announce it yet. I think I want to wait until I get back on the road. I do have an official name. I know exactly what I'm going to name her. But I'm just going to wait. You guys will have to find out. But for now, I've been trying to get this axe on the side of the Jeep forever. I already know I get a lot of hate. I guess you wouldn't say hate, but a lot of um, very strong opinions from people who say I'm an IMJ copycat. I guess Jake's the only person who's allowed to live in an older Jeep and live on the road. You know, Lord forbid anybody else do this. 
When I left on the trip, I had a plan to mount something on the side of the rack right here. I was going to put a shovel up there and a hatchet, but um, after thinking about it and looking around, I decided a better setup would be to actually put the hatchet on the side of the Jeep, the same way Jake did. I really liked the setup, and originally I was very skeptical about drilling holes into my Jeep. I, I have fenders smashed up, I'm starting to accum accumulate rust on the thing. I mean, it can't get any worse than this. One day I would like to definitely get a lot of things fixed on the Jeep. Once I am able to make a steady income, I would like to definitely maybe get the frame coated, even get it repaired if I can. But currently I'm not in any position to be able to afford any kind of fabrication. Let's get this axe on. I bought this drill bit set because I needed something in here. I forgot it doesn't come with drill bits. So I don't have a drill bit. I forgot I bought a kit for my dad that had drill bits. That's what it was. I ended up using a lot of my dad's tools and I wasn't able to return them. But I did return his drill bit set, so that's cool. All right, all worked out. Memes actually had a drill bit. Let's get to measuring. So I got these rubber boot things. It's called a quick fist. They come in packs of two. I think they're like 11 bucks. I've seen them in some stores. I don't remember where, but I know you can get them on Amazon. These, very highly suggested. I'm pretty sure they're the exact things Jake used. They're very common. It comes with like this little plastic clamp that goes in here, but um, I didn't know that and I lost mine. So I'm just gonna stick this washer in here like that. And I'm gonna drive my bolt in. Stick it on the Jeep. There we have it, folks. I'm very proud of this. Probably need to make sure this is the right way they go. I feel like it's upside down, but I always just turn it over. Mount it again. That seems pretty secure to me. Now that I got the whole Jeep situated and the sun's going down, I might as well update you guys on, well, updates. My parents wanted me to take a trip with them to Florida, and I was really on the fence about it for multiple reasons but I decided that I'm going to go with them. Now, originally I only agreed because they offered to fly me out. Or this coming Saturday, I was going to get on a plane here in Midland, fly to Florida, stay in Florida for about a week for my family's more or less vacation, fly back here, and then from there, I was going to gather up all my things for the trip and take off. That was the plan. However, the flights have actually gone up in price since that plan happened, so now we're in a bit of a pickle. They asked me if I would be willing to drive to Dallas and then fly me out from there. And the Jeep is not highway ready yet. On top of that, if I drive all the way to Dallas, I want to be ready to leave on my trip as soon as I get back. I still have a lot of things I need to do on the Jeep and because of my mental state recently, I've been having a lot of trouble being willing to actually get to work on the Jeep. It's been taking a big toll on me to actually get things fixed on the Jeep and I haven't really been feeling motivated enough to attempt to tackle some of these challenges. For example, my transfer case chain, I told myself I would get it fixed while I was down here and after some time thinking about it, I decided it'd be better to pay a professional to get it done, but I cannot afford paying for the professional labor. So what I've been doing instead is doing some research and I found out that I don't even have to drop the transfer case to actually get to the chain because I did the slip yoke eliminator upgrade. So I will be actually getting the chain fixed within the next couple of days. Today is Monday and the sun's already going down so we're, we're practically already at the end of the day. 
by Friday night, I will have to have the Jeep ready for the trip. I will have to have everything ripped apart out of it and I will be driving to my cousin's house down in Dallas. We get there, I'm going to spend the night there, probably just sleep in the Jeep. My parents are gonna come get me. We're gonna drive to the airport together and stay a week in Florida. I will be in Florida with my family. Um, they have some plans and stuff we're gonna do there. Should be pretty much an all expense paid trip for me. But by the time I get back to my Jeep, I don't really know what to do from there. I would really like to do a meetup. I had been wanting to meet up with Bruce Stevenson and Larry Stockman for a while. I got to meet Larry, but I think it'd be really cool if we were able to actually go on a trip together. I know that Bruce Stevenson was trying to talk Sean into coming along. I don't really know where Sean's at at this point, but I was going to see if we could get everybody riled up, do a big meetup all at once. If I'm able to set up a trip, I'm going to try to keep in contact with everyone so I can try to get there, gather up with everybody. I think it'd be really cool to do a trip. I really want to but I am trying to do this thing with my family before I do make any other further plans. Larry Stockman gave me a very generous donation of money and I was going to get the windshield fixed, but it's I trying to kind of balance out what's more important. The windshield is definitely annoying, but it's not going to affect the actual performance of the vehicle. So I'm going to try to focus on the maintenance first. Of course, I got the ax mounted on. That's something I had been planning on doing for a very long time. Finally got that done. The sun's still going down, so I gotta hurry. Okay, turn the camera around, it fixes everything. The sun's going down, and I gotta get some things gathered up. That's gonna be the end for today. I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna go cook some venison. Haley actually shot a deer, and then like a week later, her dad got another deer. So they have two deers worth of meat, and they gave me hamburger. I made a hamburger out of it, it was really good. I'm gonna go cook it into a patty and put an egg on top. Should be good.